Hello friends, welcome to Ghost for AI. Now whenever you will start to work in computer vision or image processing, the first and foremost thing that we'll have to do is convert an image into an array of numbers. Because the computer cannot understand an image as we see it as human beings. All it understands are numbers. So normally what is done is an image is represented as an array of numbers or values that correspond to the intensities of each pixel. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can import an image into the Python environment as an array of numbers using not one, not two, but three different APIs. But before we proceed, don't forget to drop a like if you like the video. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this in the future. Click on the bell icon for the notifications. Share the video with your friends. And if you have any doubts or any requests, write in the comments. I will try my best to respond to all of them. As I said, I'm going to show you how to import an image in Python using three different libraries, namely the Python Imaging Library, Scikit Image, and the OpenCV wrapper for Python. So for the first one, let's go to Python Imaging Library. It's Python Imaging Library. So the Python Imaging Library, or also called the Pillow, uh, you can easily install, uh, install this using pip or in the Anaconda environment, it is uh, installed by default. Uh, you can check the project documentation for uh, regarding all the facilities that this API pr provides you. But for this video, I'm only, I'm only going to show you how you can import an image using the image module in PIL and convert it to a NumPy array. So if you go to the image module, you will see that there is a simple function called image.open where if you give the path of the image, it will give you the image object. From that image object, we can easily get a NumPy uh, array by using uh, the inbuilt function from NumPy. So for this uh, project, I have uh, pre-selected some images. So this is basically the logo of the channel. I'm going to show you how I can import this uh, image in uh, inside this Python environment using the PIL and then convert it to the array. So for this, we have to import the image module. And um, we, we can create the image object by using the open function and giving it the file pointer or the file path image.jpg and to convert it to a numpy array we can simply use uh, say the inbuilt method of numpy uh, for that we have to import numpy as say np and then you can use np.array and inside that img so if we run this program what we will see is first we get an image object so type of image is as you can see it's an object under pil it's a jpg image plugin and if we see image array it is uh, an array of uh, numbers that represent the intensity values of the uh, images if we see the shape of this array, we will notice the shape is 256 cross 256 cross 3. Uh, this, uh, the first two values, it represents the height and width of the image. And that uh, last value here, it represents that number of channels in the image. So normally, an image can have different number of channels. Uh, say for a black and white image, there is only one channel. Uh, even for a grayscale image, you will have only one channel. Now you can ask what's the difference between a black and white image and a grayscale image. A uh, black and white image, it uh, represents uh, values which belongs to only either of two classes, that is zero or one. For grayscale image, it has a much larger spectrum. Normally the value spans from zero to 255. Uh, that, that is 256 different intensity values that are uh, shown in the pixels. But uh, it being grayscale, it, uh, that it, uh, it means is it does not show any kind of color information. It's completely uh, grayscale in nature. I'll show you some uh, examples. So this is the black and white image. Uh, it's as you can see, just 
consist of two values that is a zero and one or black and white a grayscale image will have much a more different number of values but uh, the values normally span from as i said 0 to 255 then we have a jpg image this is basically a color image here each pixel is represented by three different values each corresponding to the red the green and the blue channel so that's why when we see the shape of the image array it we can see that it has three different channels so this is how you can convert an image uh, into a numpy array using the pil api the second api that we are going to use is called the opencv or it is the opencv wrapper for python now opencv was normally written for the c and the c++ language but there is a wrapper which you can uh, use in the python environment as, as well the benefit of using opencv is that the opencv has a lot of different kind of image processing algorithms that is already uh, built in and those can be exploited for performing very uh, exquisite uh, Im image processing and machine learning tasks so if we see opencv for python tutorial if you go to the documentation you can see a lot of uh, you know tutorials are given here so we have feature detection description video analysis camera calibration machine learning computational photography object detection uh, there are many kinds of uh, things that you can do with opencv uh, let's do some kind of some basic stuff so so the basic format of importing an image in opencv is to use the im read function inside cv2 now for installing cv2 you can simply uh, do a pip install uh, opencv so pip install opencv i think yeah yeah this is the package that you have to install is you can easily do uh, do this using pip so pip install opencv hyphen python that's the one you have to write in the command line to install this package uh, this package is not available by default in the conda environment so if you install this then you can use it inside uh, the python environment so let's do import cv2 and we can do cv2 dot im read and then say the image we save that into an image array so if we run this program we'll see now image is basically a numpy array so as you can see this is a much more compact way to write and the cv2 package is also again very rich with which you can do lots of different kind of image processing tasks one of the downside of using a cv2 is it is not natively written in python so there might be some issues in the long run if you are developing completely python based uh, you know systems uh, but this uh, wrapper works almost flawlessly these days and it's very common it's used by many researchers but if you want to use a completely python based uh, environment then you can use this package called sk image uh, so from sk image.io import uh, sorry as io and io dot im read image dot jpg So here also you can get the image as a numpy array. Uh, for more information about this SK image package, you can go to Google and you can search for SK image so in docs. Uh, you can here you can go to the API reference column and you can see a lot of different modules and submodules inside the, this API that are really useful for many uh, operations, image processing operations. Uh, so that's it folks again if you like the video then drop a like uh, subscribe for more videos don't forget to click the bell icon for the notifications share this with your friends and if you have any doubts write in the comments i'll get back to you as soon as possible thank you and have a nice day